Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Eloise and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Rat Care 101 video. This is my second video, if you haven't seen the first video, it'll fly across the screen right now. Go and watch it. You don't have to watch it before you watch this one of course. Today I want to talk about common rat health problems that will occur and just how to look after your rats in general. So we'll start with the basics, to make sure your rat is happy and healthy before you bring one home. Check its fur, is it nice and shiny, is it nice and smooth? This is important because they can get lice and they can get mites. Lice are like little orangey brown things that if you part their fur you can see it. Mites on the other hand you can't see but the rats will get all like white stuff and they'll be very itchy. If this does happen please take your rat to a vet. The vet will probably give you a type of revolution, a type of thing that they put on cats and dogs. Please don't do this by yourself, please go to a vet or research the correct way to to do it because there are ones that are toxic to rats. Rats nails are very sharp, they are constantly growing just like ours and sometimes you may need to clip them. Some people take their rats to a vet but I find this too stressful for a rat. You can just do it at home yourself or an alternative is to leave a rock in the rat's cage like in their litter tray for example. This not only helps the rats go and pee on that rock because they like peeing on rocks but also wears their nails down when they go to there all the time. A way you can cut them yourself if you do need to cut them, make sure your rat is held nice and steadily but you can use human nail clippers and then you can just clip the very ends of the nail. Some rats don't like this but like if you continue doing it then they will get used to it. Something else that constantly grows is their teeth. You need to make sure you give them things that can wear down their teeth such as harder foods like chicken bones or even just chew toys. A good indication of a healthy rat is their teeth will be orange. So not like ours, sometimes if you don't give them these chew toys or these foods they can grow really long and this can cause obviously eating problems with rats. If that ever does happen just take your rat to a vet. One of the other smaller ones is sometimes an unhealthy rat will have red discharge coming from its nose or from its eyes. This could be a sign of a respiratory illness, which I'll just touch on in a second. So now the basic ones are out of the way. The two main illnesses that you may come across in rats is their respiratory issues or tumours. Rats are very prone to tumours. Some are cancerous and some are not. I really advise you to go to your vet and check with your vet if you see a lump on your rat. My rat Peppa did have a lump on her neck. I did take her to the vet because I knew the tumour was growing and therefore it would have disabled her at some point in the near future. So I knew it was best for her to get an operation and she could have that removed so she could live a happy life. Um, there's a lot of aftercare that you need to consider if you do get a lump removed. You've got to make sure the rat is kept nice and warm. You've got to make sure that they don't pull the stitches out and you need to make sure that it's just all nice and clean. Pretty much the thing that your rats will die of the most, this is really unfortunate, but is a respiratory issue. This is really common in rats because it's just in their genes, so every rat has the ability to get this illness. It really, really sucks, but the ways you can tell if they have a respiratory issue is that the breathing sounds different. Other signs besides different breathing include the stuff coming out their nose or their eyes. It looks like they're hiccuping sometimes but they're not actually hiccuping, it's them struggling to breathe. If your rat is gasping for air please see a vet immediately. The ways you can help avoid this is to have a wire cage, keep the cage very clean, Make sure you don't use dusty bedding, please try and use fleece if you can. If your rat does have a respiratory issue, a vet will probably give you antibiotics. They'll probably give you a course of antibiotics, either Batril or Doxycycline. Those two are the very most common. If that course does not improve your rat, then you may have to keep your rat on it for the rest of their lives. This can be quite expensive, so this is what I mean by rats are expensive. I went to the vet the other day to get another course of antibiotics. It lasts about two months, um, but I have to get two for Lola, two types. But this one cost $47, but I love her. I do it out of love. So yeah, those are the most common health issues you may experience with your rats. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them below. I will answer. If I don't know the answer, I will direct you to somewhere that will help you find the answer, of course. I love having you guys here. Make sure you give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure you subscribe so you can see the next Rat Care 101 video. I'll see you guys next week in a new video. Bye!